What's up everybody and welcome back to On The Rocks Entertainment. I finally decided to take my camera out today. Um, currently it's October 16th, 2020. As you know from the news, Hawaii has reopened tourism. Slowly but it's kind of reopened. So this is day two you guys of the reopen. And I don't want to get into too much detail because there's a lot of gray area. Um, basically you can get uh, pre-tested and skip the quarantine process but really I think it's a wait and see personally um, people are still trying to understand it and you know all of that situation but today I'm just gonna take this camera out hopefully make a video to show you you know kind of what's going on as far as the landscape and what what changes are coming our way uh, again, I hope all you guys are, are safe where you guys are at and still still thinking about what you do and take precautions You guys never Never get complacent and, and, and overconfident, you know, because your life is the most important thing That's that's the most important thing is, is, is your life. It's the one thing that you can't uh, Buy back or do anything to regain your health and and your you know everything about you So yeah, let me just turn this thing around so you guys can see a little bit of what's going on instead of looking at me and then I'll still talk to you guys all right everybody so I turned this camera around and uh, full disclaimer I'm not driving so don't trip about that I would not drive and hold this camera at the same time that would be um, not a smart thing to do but yeah um, things that I've noticed I've noticed that uh, we did have a couple of flights from the mainland land last night looked like it was two United flights um, it didn't seem like there was too much people on it. What I do know is from the, the state website is 8,000 visitors arrived between the four islands, you know, yesterday on the 15th. So, I mean, if you do basic math, I mean, it's about, you know, 2G per island. Um, and then that's not going to be equal. I mean, I guess, you know, you could have a situation where one gets more than the other. But in, in, in all, um, there are people now that are from the mainland now on the island and traffic is gonna pick up a little um, not all hotels are open from what I know um, slowly um, they're trying to figure out how to open everything uh, I heard that the Marriott is probably still looking around December and the Grand Hyatt is looking more towards November so not they're not ready yet but there are some places that are, are are trying to reopen again this is really early in the reopening you guys so you got to understand six months everything uh, went completely dark I want to say about um, March 28th is when we had the mass exodus of people just leaving and going back home and trying to you know get ready for everything and, and try to take precaution and, really see month to month week to week where, where was this going and I think all of us as a nation is lost and until today um, it's not really clear but that being said I mean there's a lot of things that that um, work along with it you don't just come to a tourist destination just to come and look at a tree right uh, some of you guys probably want to do zip lining or you want to do ATVs and you want to do kayaking so unfortunately a lot of these businesses have took in so much hits it's hard to tell which ones are operating and right? things are like a luau things of that nature restaurants you already know because probably where you live I bet I'm, I'm betting that the landscape is really different there too I mean think of it like where you live where you live and if you was trying to say to people that want to come and visit you it would not be something that you could really be precise on because we are all subject to a lot of changes even out of the United States so yeah that's where we find ourselves um, again we're just cruising on the road you can see traffic's kind of light um, what is funny is we had the best weather of all times and then once the you know all up to October 14 actually weather was like summer right and now that we're reopened um, clouds and rain has come back again so 
I don't know. Maybe Mother Nature's trying to say something. Uh, I don't know. Look at the signs. But like I always say, you guys, your your health is the most important thing. Not only physically but mentally. I hope you guys are all being prepared and, and doing everything you guys can do to control what you can control. There's so much things you can't control, but the one thing you can control is, is yourself and, and the decisions that you allow yourself to make. Always have your own opinion about it. Um, again, some of you watching might give me some hate comments and you have different uh, sort of um, sense of opinion uh, derived from, you know, political standpoint or whatever but I don't like to get political I just like to see people as a whole and just wish the best for everyone as a whole that everybody's healthy and everybody's doing well because what would be the prosperity or what would be to gain to watch other people fail and be sick really there's nothing so to find balance is we have to find it within everyone to make sure that everybody's okay uh, middle out not top down right so, yeah, that's what's going on right now. And you guys are probably bored of seeing this road with just random cars coming around. But yeah, it's been, like I said, it's been a while. Glad it had the camera rolling again. Uh, I've been kind of doing my own thing and stuff like that. And I still enjoy making videos for you guys and being transparent and, and I enjoy the comments and stuff that I have. And I know I have some really hardcore subscribers that always comment back to me and stuff. And, you know, I'm, I gladly comment back to you guys as fast as I can. You guys know that. I always heart your comment and come back to you guys and talk to you guys. I really enjoy it. And that's what YouTube is all about is we're just a bunch of regular people, guys, that we go out and we're not afraid to express and, and share information that we know. Because the one thing that people need to do more than ever is look out for each other and communicate, right? Aloha worldwide, right? That's what it's all about. It doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter how old you are or whatever, you know, what's the benefits of, of, of people uniting on the same principle and trying to think thinks of ways to make things better is is always something greater and positive than being destructive and being divided and all that kind of stuff i think most people can agree with that unless you're a hater but yeah so if i find some more interesting stuff to to, to show you on this film i will but uh let's just see what goes on today guys and thanks for joining in so I guess the best way to show you guys some contrast is um, looking at what's going on at the airport right now. That'll be the best way to, to show you guys some new occurring action happening on the island. So let me just set the course on myself driving Tesla to the airport. I'm just kidding. I don't have a, I don't have a Tesla, but um, when I come back, we'll be at the airport. All right, you guys, we just arrived at the airport, as you can see right there. Um, so let me give you the play-by-play. -play. It's 1.30 in the afternoon and from the outside it looks like there was one Southwest Airlines. I believe that's probably an inner island one. So I'm thinking that the ones coming from a longer distance are probably scheduled later this afternoon or even nighttime, you know, because time differences and, you know, everything that you know goes to play um, again my my consensus would be you know the process of boarding and everything is going to be a little bit different um here's a rental car places you guys you guys can see there is really nothing going on um usually you see a lot of people around uh you see a lot of buses moving and stuff and um not not too much going on again just day two is day two you guys 16 of october so this is a, a new experience for everybody only time will tell um how it's gonna be a eh, couple people over there and then you gotta you gotta kind of think too guys it's off season you know uh, the kids and stuff are, are not on break anymore uh you always got the economical turmoil of people maybe financially not being able to do this or you know some region still being under lockdown and things like that so it's not something that's gonna just come back to fruition you know all at once 
again, uh, like I said, it was about March 28th, everything was closed down, and we are find ourselves in October. We're almost in 2021, you guys. And um, this is this is where we're at. So across from me is a parking lot, usually be full of employees or people going off island. You can see not too much. Got a taxi stand over there. And uh, they've been gone for a long time because you got to imagine there was no business on that side, right? But there's like maybe three cabs there. And um, hopefully they get some kind of a business today and not spend their whole day just being in the red on operation costs. Uh, we got the terminal ahead of me. Uh, funny thing is they're doing construction. Again, timing, yeah? I guess it's allocated funds that they don't want to um, lose at the state level, so if they have to use it. And uh, yeah, so this is a baggage claim. Looks like just a, a few people, not too much. And up here will be some construction action. Oh, brother, bus up, bus eight, six hundred. So that's all being constructed there. That's not to lock anybody in or anything like that. Just in case people are wondering, oh no, are they locking people up and doing all kind of tests and weird stuff on them, like Air 51 kind of situation? No, not really. Uh, they got kiosks and stuff. We got a couple airline workers and stuff coming in. I guess we caught it at a slow hour, but just to get get you guys an idea of what the landscape looks like. And I think one of the security guys saw that I filmed and could throw a shock or something. It'd be famous, dude. Got a state truck next to me. Um, National Guard standing by. Walking the terminals, and at the end here, you'll see like police. And they have their laptop computers with the, uh, the state system of the um, uh, trips. You know, I guess you have to register and have a profile and everything for a whole eight trips and that's the way to keep track of you like who's coming in did you get a test you get a qr code you know again um don't want to elaborate too much on that because it's a it's a very i think to this point it's a it's a very unclear uh procedure and i and i like to, to believe that the people that's they're screening are also asking each other questions on what exactly is the criteria and um, it's like again first time it's ever been done so it's a learning process and you know my opinion on that is that I want to be optimistic and uh, I think over time as you get better at processing people and getting better tests and stuff then the volume can start to you know increase I mean, it's just like life. You gotta crawl before you walk, walk before you jog, and jog before you sprint. So, um, following those steps, I think you you have a gradual uh, way to success. Just trying to do something because of outside influences and trying to force an outcome. Uh, we're gonna find ourselves back where we were in um, late February and March. And, uh, helicopters over there. They haven't moved for a while. And they did some expansions down here because maybe I told you guys before, um, it was booming. So they were expanding flights. Even flights from Canada, Phoenix, San Francisco, you name it. Denver, yeah, it was happening. They had to put fuel tanks down here. Um, they built more hotels and things. Um, things are all on an uptick and an upswing. And um, let's, let's, let's have like some figuratively speaking. Uh, what had happened there, we kind of got caught with our pants down big time. Um, don't mean to make you laugh, but that's the best analogy I could think about. This is uh, just kind of overflow lots down here, down to Alkini. Uh, you probably saw this before. And um, there's a lookout where you can kind of see planes land and everything. Sorry for the shakiness, if this is kind of shaky, I'm not using a, a, a gimbal. I'm just doing this freehand, you know, the way that your boy likes to do it. Because these gimbals are bulky and it's ex very expensive. And uh, my only hopes of getting one like that is probably putting on layaway or something. If, there's, if layaway exists, right? But um, that's what it is. So this nice view down here. We're gonna wait for this guy to 
driving this big truck around. This is Alkini, you guys, and um, straight ahead, this tree wasn't in the way. Um, not trying to talk shit about the tree. Um, Kapa and stuff is down here in this this corner. But this is where usually you can see like the plan, the uh, plans. Learn how to speak English better, bro. Um, planes. You see the planes of uh, land or come in and then cruise ships another thing people don't talk about cruise ships yeah that's another thing that's highly likely to be more close to 2021 um, that's that one is a real pickle we have the pride of america to go in between islands and they're pretty much just sitting by aloha tower marketplace off in my home island honolulu and it's just been sitting there the whole time. It's not doing nothing. I wanted to go look at it, but you know, like I said, you know, you can't sleep on a guy's fishing. He gets a big tuna. I should join him with my stuff and show him how, but you know, I'm not really that good. But anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I wanted to go to Oahu, but you know, doing to inconsistent information, when in doubt, don't go out. You probably heard that on a surf report or something, but that's the way I live life, you guys. I mean, if you don't if you're not sure and you think you're gonna have more risk than what is worth in your 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 final product I mean you weigh it out right the risk and reward kind of a thing I guess man I'm saying I'm sounding like a college professor today it must have been the bang energy drinks that I have been drinking they're so good but don't don't drink like five in a day so now we're just, just traveling on the back roads over here and um, maybe I'll catch some uh, footage on the way out. I think on the way out, on the right hand side, we can take a better look at uh, the helicopter situation. And uh, maybe I'll cut back to that. And that's the fuel tanks I'll tell you guys about. They build that, you know, for the long distance flights. And we got the control tower over there. And I, I think they had some uh, concession food trucks up here uh, I guess they're called a flying food corporation so that would be the one that replenishes uh, on on flight refreshments you know drinks and um, sandwiches and stuff like that those have been sitting there forever um, I'm gonna come back to this side because this is the side of the road that the helicopter places would be they all kind of take off here at the same place. Uh, you probably see some sit on the ground there. And some beautiful bushes, you know, trees. Squirrel, you see a uh, nice porta potty over there. Great job at filming. This is Universal Studios, you know, you need a guy. You know, Marvel is, oh shit, <laughs> shooting Black Widow, it's not done. You need the final scene, the scene to be shot, call your boy. Hold up. This angle is a little bit better. Long view, you can see. Helicopters all wrapped up in protective layers, so you know they haven't been flying around. This is a cloudy day too, so you probably not see things in the best light. And this is what it looks like as we disappear from the airport. Usually a lot of cars will be coming through this way, but it's, uh, it's not that busy yet. Day two again. I'll keep you guys updated. It's only day two. Um, and what I can tell you is that most of the places on the south side has not seen the ripple effect of people at the local shops and things like that. Well, once again, you guys, I want to thank you guys for joining my channel, watching my YouTube channel here. And um, let me turn this thing back around again, facing the road. So if you guys all know me by now, I'm just a small time YouTube creator on the Rocks Entertainment, uh, mostly because I live on a small rock, which is Kauai, and um, I'm doing everything I can to inform you and entertain you from the situation. And um, yeah, you never know what kind of stuff I put up on, um, but I'm always pushing positivity. I'm always pushing uh, life is a four-letter word, but you only have one, you know, Aloha Worldwide, 
uh, things like that because I think that is something that is missing. It's missing a lot. You see a lot of things in media. You gotta look this way. You gotta have this much. You gotta you gotta be this point of life and all this pressure and negativity. And there's not too much people out there that's saying do what you want to do. Be free. Find ways to be happy. You know, control what you can't control. Don't worry about what you can't control. You know, you can you you can render that by being strong in your body and being strong in your mind. You can do pretty much a lot of things. You'll find that you're the only person in your way is going to be yourself most most of the time. Um, haters going to hate. That's what they do. And if you value their opinion, you're always going to be second string. So just cut in line and put yourself first. You know what I mean? Um, that probably came out wrong, but you know what? Why not? You know, put yourself first. Um, so first class filming situation. We've got Walmart over here. You like that flip? That was that was a mean flip right there. But well, Walmart's been doing pretty well. I think they've been doing, you know, good throughout everything. We only have one on this island, so I mean, you kind of can win by default, you know. Like if you're the only team that's playing, how can you lose? How can you lose? Um, yeah, garden apartment. Been in the Walmart many a times. Uh, comment below if you guys can relate. Um, some people might not like Walmart, but um, brings us to another discussion topic. There's less and less and less uh, retail things to choose from. Are you guys finding out the same thing? You either order from Amazon or you go to the big two, right? There's not really too much, uh, too much, uh, blah blah blah, too much uh, choices limited because for every business you need a consumer base and we find ourselves strapped for cash in the population of people the more people are doing better off and have expendable income they can promote businesses from the middle out and we can grow across the board but right now most people don't know um, what the financial situation are so I don't think they're full on confident to try new things or spend money unnecessarily uh, unless some of the people believe like this is it you know time to buy that Lamborghini you know what I mean and I'm not gonna hate on that guy too because you know at this point you know what I'm saying but yeah so I'll roll the camera again if we see something cool Pack. You guys got some people working in the the bushes over there. I used to do some ele electrical work or something. So we're just cruising on back to the south side where I live. Not much going on. And uh, I just wanted to basically turn this camera on and, and say what's up to everybody. And put up another video because I've been lagging big time. But I've been enjoying myself at the gym and uh, just crushing goals over there. So I hope you guys are finding enjoyment and crushing goals when whatever you guys want to do. That's the the key. Can't stress that enough. And um, yeah, well, I did have I um, I think one video back I uh, jogged my memory. I was talking about my skit comedy video. And that one is, to give you guys an update on that, it's got like maybe about a couple minutes of footage on that one yet, and I'm still trying to pan out the rest. Uh, I would hate to rush put it together and and have some more clips that I could possibly put onto it and not make it uh, as best as I could. So, it's still coming up and let me try to flip this camera on orthodox way. Do it freestyle, do it my way. Oh crap, where am I? Where am I? I'm right there. So as always, you guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, I don't really have a posting schedule when I put it up. I try to get better at that. Um, sometimes I link my Instagram below and I don't even post on that too because full lagging you guys because the only thing is on my mind is trying to lift up mountains and shit 
Um, but I'll try to get better at that. I do see you guys. If I see comments and stuff that's pretty cool and positive and stuff, I like to, to chat with you guys on that. But let's close this video out, you guys. And I just want to high five all you guys on the screen and hope you guys are doing well and hope you guys are, are staying positive and staying safe, making great decisions. And I will see you guys on the next one. And peace.